Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. The kingdom of God is in your midst. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring that bell for notifications, get the app. It's available on all major platforms and donate, link in the description, your tax deductible gift to higher things keeps us filling the ears of youth all over the world with the saving gospel of Jesus. They need that gospel in these dark days. The third last Sunday of the church here, alternate text is Luke chapter 17. Um, being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them, the kingdom of God does not come with your, uh, does not come by observation. That's not how it comes. It doesn't come with observation. Nor will they say, look, here he is, or behold, uh, or there, for behold, the kingdom of God in toss humon estin is in your midst. See, the end of the church here could not come at a better time. We look around and we feel like it's the end of the world as we know it. And the world's gone mad. While you're reaching for the Maalox, in need of the antidepressant, looking at alternate means of comforting yourself in the midst of a pandemic and election gone cattywampus, Jesus talks about the kingdom of God being in your midst. Sometimes this is translated among you, uh, in you, the kingdom of God is in you as if to say, it's in your heart. I'm not going to argue with that right now, but I will say intos is among. That's, that's its primary meaning, in your midst. The ESV uh, gives an alternate mode that it could be within your grasp, but I, I think it's better with way to be, it's better to be lo location, in your midst. And this is what I mean. The Pharisees come up to Jesus, and the, and the question is about the kingdom of God. And for them, the kingdom of God means knocking the noses off the Roman statues, retaking their, their country and re-being in control. There might be a correlation here somehow, but I'm sure that's only accidental. But Jesus directs them away from that. He's like, it's not going to come by your calculations. You're not going to set, make a chart for the kingdom of God. You're not going to uh, tick off um, all the different places where you think um, God is, is coming and then have him come and prove you right. No, nor will it be he's over there or he's over there. And any preacher who tells you exactly when Jesus is coming back is a preacher that you should change the channel on, even if it's me. But I'm not going to do that. Because when he says the kingdom of God is in your midst, it's because he's in your midst. He's in his word. He's in his baptism where he washes your sins away. He's in his body and blood given you for, to eat and drink for the remission of all your sins. Jesus, Jesus' kingdom comes when Jesus' kingdom comes for you in the word and in the sacraments. His gifts give his spirit who works faith where and when he pleases in those who hear the gospel. This is the catechism now from CPH. The kingdom of God comes, certainly comes by itself without our prayers, but we pray in this petition of the Lord's Prayer that it would not become among us also. How does God's kingdom come? God's kingdom comes when our heavenly father gives us his Holy Spirit so that by his grace, we believe his holy word and lead godly lives here in time and hereafter in eternity. See, the kingdom of God comes when Jesus comes to you. And so he tells the Pharisees, look, you're looking for the kingdom of God over there. You're looking for the kingdom of God over there. You're looking, you've got your, you've got your iPad out and you're checking off things. The kingdom of God comes 
It's in your midst. I am here. And I'm here with forgiveness. I'm here with mercy. And most of all, what we need today, I'm here with peace. So that no matter what else happens to you in this world, you have Jesus. His name put on your own baptism. His word filling your ears. His body and blood in your mouth. And resourced, enlivened by those gifts. You're ready for anything. You're ready for an election that doesn't seem to end. You're ready for a culture gone mad. You're ready for a pandemic that threatens to lock you up again. You're ready for the last day because you have Jesus. You're ready for giving. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.